This is a robotic leg in action. No central computer is needed to control it. And a human doesn't have to steer it either. The exciting thing is that it can be directed with individual local feedback controls. The leg can stop all on its own. The scientists are building five robots. These parts alone are enough for a whole Mayan family. Their aim is to build a robot made of parts that function independently, both on their own and in concert. Mayan could then respond to changes in its environment. In certain areas, biological systems are much more effective than, for example, industrial robots. These can perform very specialized tasks, but if you change their surroundings even a little bit, they can no longer cope. Mayan will be more skillful than other robots, but its system is complex. That's why the 10 IT specialists are making its individual parts one by one. They worked for a whole year to develop the robot's circuit diagrams. Now they're soldering and screwing Mayan together. That allows the developers to remain flexible. We have that gives us the most access. And if we find an error in the circuitry, then we can fix it quickly and install new parts rapidly. All of Mayan's components, its arms, legs and head, are programmed individually. Here, for example, its movements are being optimized. Making all the body parts work in unison is a big challenge. The idea is to get smart behavior and body control down to the smallest detail, in the joints of each arm and leg, for example. Then later, after the robot has been assembled, they have to work well together. Mayan has already learned to see. It recognizes objects according to their shape and color. Here the robot is looking at a red box, and it looks for the object even if it disappears. The scientists are setting their sights even higher than that. They want Mayan to be able to learn independently. We don't want to be limited to specific applications. We don't want him doing things like serving food or searching for landmines. We're trying to work with these robots as you would with small children. We're probing the interaction between humans and machines and these local mechanisms. Then we'll take things a step further. There are already robots available who operate machines and carry out tasks. But humanoid robots, like Mayan, should react to their environment. And when it comes to achieving that, the researchers in Berlin are just starting out.